just wanted to talk about one of the really important concepts in Chapter 2, and that has to do with the Earth-Sun geometry and the seasons. And in order to do that, what I've got up on the screen here is a exercise for weather and climate that is available on your MyMeteorologyLab.com website in Chapter 2, Contents. Um, it's under Exercises for Weather and Climate, and these are pretty cool animations. They're um, interactive. So what I've done, I've got this set up now. So we're on June 20th, which is today, just to illustrate what's going on for us in the Northern Hemisphere. Grand Junction, which is where a lot of us are uh, this summer, um, or at least you've been studying at Colorado Mesa University in Grand Junction. Um, Grand Junction is at 39 degrees north, and that's indicated by this green line on the Earth here. So if you move these arrows here, you can change your latitude in the northern hemisphere. And what this is showing is the angle of the sunlight that's hitting us right now. And notice it's not at 90 degrees. So we have one unit of light that's spread out over 1.038 units of area. So what happens is that diminishes the intensity of light. Um, and that is really the primary reason we have the seasons. Because if we change this to a different time of year, let's let this spin around. Notice how the angle of the sun decreases. We'll stop it. Now we're on October 22nd. And notice we have one unit of light that's spreading out over one, almost 1 1.6 units of area. So that diffuses the light and makes it less intense. So let's head back around. Notice how low it gets for us. By the time we're in January, the light is, the intensity of light is really, it's spread out over two times the amount of area. And so it's almost half of what we get um, in the summertime. So let's keep going around. We're going to get back to June 20th. And here we're getting into the summer. So here we are, June 20th, the summer solstice, the longest day of the year for us in the western United States. The solstice actually happens at 11 o'clock tonight in Grand Junction on Thursday, June 20th. And so that means if you're in the eastern U.S., it happens Friday morning. Um, I just wanted to point out that on the solstice at the equator, if we go to the equator here, notice the sun is not directly overhead. But we know that at the equator, the length of the day and night is are equal. Um, also, if we let's head south, notice now as we head south, it's winter there. And so the angle of the sun is declining. So they have less energy. So remember, it's the tilt of the earth that is responsible for our seasons, and it's not the position of where the Earth is in relationship to the sun. All right, we'll be back again with more concepts soon.